Previously on the Falco Family Homeschool Room Setup. Because of the way 2020 has been set up, our Live and Learn Tour all kind of came crumbling down. In part one, we shared all about why we decided to focus on the homeschool room. We prepped the walls to paint. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. We redid the flooring, started setting up the bookshelves, shared how I planned the space, moved on to decluttering and organizing, and now we're on to part two. Friends, it is a Serena from the future, like the future like towards the end of this video because I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video. But um, today I'm actually doing something sweet and special and collaborating a bit with some of my favorite homeschool mama friends from the beginning, Jessica from The Waldock Way and Abby from Rooted in Rest. They are hosting somewhat of a show and tell um, a homeschool show and tell playlist that's an open playlist here on YouTube and asked me if I wanted to join in and I am right in the mix of doing my homeschool classroom setup series for this year and thought it would be fun to just go ahead and jump in. I have stepped away from doing collabs and all of those things in order to focus on the direction that we really wanted to go in as a homeschool filmmaking family, but it's really nice to just kind of connect a bit. So yeah, I'm excited to be joining them. Make sure you check out information in the description box below to follow along and see what they have shared on their channels. But yeah, this video is in collaboration with my homeschool mama friends, and I'm gonna get right into day three. This is actually day three of my homeschool classroom setup. Y'all help me, because organizing is hard. <laughs> decluttering organizing figuring it all out definitely isn't as quick as these videos often make them seem yeah it's minimalism really is just about keeping your life free of clutter this isn't clutter this is all intentional well it's a lot of stuff though it's a lot because it's serving a lot of purposes you would think that you're a minimalist like you would you would no, think no. that I oh you what what makes us Happy. This is our home, our school, and our business. So I keep the things that serve purposes, and we have a creative life and three vibrant kids. That's why I don't like to be in a box because you say minimalism and you think that you have to be in an empty room with just a sofa and a desk, but that's not true. Well, you I don't should, believe but, in that. I don't. I don't but then you shouldn't that use that notion. term. You should create your own term. I, I don't want to create my own term. I just want to say you want to try to minimize the clutter. That's okay. fine. Nothing's wrong with saying that. Okay. So what I'm doing right now, all of these things are just being moved around and organized with intention because some of these we want to send off to others and bless them with things that have passed and moved through our homeschool. And then a lot of them, so it is, it is minimal in that I'm not just keeping stuff to keep stuff. Things serve a purpose. That's okay. Okay. So I don't care what you think about it. Okay, <laughs> whatever you got to tell yourself, it's fine. We're going to work our way through this, organize it to make it easily accessible for everybody involved. And I'm hoping to get through this in an hour. Mm -hmm. Don't be rude. <laughs> Thank you for helping me film before you get back to work and get a smoothie that you made me. Except for he brought it to me in this red solo cup. Yeah, I'm gonna have to transfer this into a nice pretty cup. You so better not make better dishes for life. no reason. <laughs> See what I mean? Much better. Now my smoothie is in a cute cup and I can feel better about my life. <laughs> All right, friends. I am trying not to be overwhelmed. It's not easy, but I am just going to try to breathe, put on some music, I'm gonna make my way through. I started off by putting all of my empty boxes here, the things that I can actually organize and put stuff in. And um, yeah, so I have all the stuff or all the pieces that are gonna help me to organize all of this. A lot of this is stuff that is going to be given away. I did work my way through the shelf, which is great. But now I just need to put things into their proper places. So we're gonna, we're just gonna work on that together. And I'm trying to give myself a time frame so that I can move on in a decent time period. So let me just 
get started. All right, so I think I'm gonna do like I always do when I start to declutter and organize things, and that is to take everything and separate them into like piles. I did that already with like the bigger things, with like the books, but right now, this is my least favorite part, but I have to do it, is I have to get a lot of the little manipulatives and things like that and cards and uh, little puzzle pieces and maybe some more supplies and things. I still need to work my way through those so that I can separate them into piles and figure out where I'm going to put them, which bins I'm gonna put them in, where I'm going to position them in the room and that type of thing. So I'm just gonna start that same process again of sorting them into like piles. I just have a lot of these that were kind of already sorted into likeness, but I just wanna go through them even further to declutter a bit more. Um, because a lot of this stuff, while I would like to hold on to it, is just, is just, you know, I, I try to use things even past their grade levels and use them in new and different and creative ways. But there comes a certain time where we've just kind of leveled out of things like, like these. If you guys have been around for a little while, then you've seen these several times. And I made these back when the kids were like super, super little. And they're still really cute, but I've run out of creative ways to use them to adapt them to the higher levels that they have gotten to. Um, so things like this, I want to just kind of keep in a pile of things to give. I really want to start doing gift boxes um, as a part of our The Fall Code Gives initiative for the kids um, as they're learning about gratitude and um, continuing to learn about gratitude and giving to others. Uh, we wanted to create like a little initiative for ourselves called The Fall Code Gives. And so I was thinking about doing care packages, little care packages or something. And these types of things maybe can go in them to send them to other different families, um, homeschooling or not. Uh, just things that we've used that have brought us a lot of uh, fruit and joy in our homeschool lives. So anyway, don't get chatty, Serena. Um, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get to that. Another thing that I do is, my camera definitely just fell. It's okay, it's okay. So uh, then I go through our stack of binders and start separating our papers. So I start separating the things they've written from the calendars that they filled out and yeah. So I'm gonna do that now so that I can empty those things out and try to figure out how I'm going to repurpose those binders and, um, and clipboards and all of that stuff. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. That stack right there has to be worked through. This is eight years of homeschool things that have been moved around and repurposed and all of that stuff. So um, in efforts to move even further into our digital lifestyle, I am going to work my way through those. So I'm working my way through these boxes here and pulling a lot of this stuff out. These are just really trying to figure out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm going to give and what I'm going to toss. So um, these, I spent so much time making these, you guys. <laughs> these are actually little cards um, for matching the parts of the bodies and their function and took me forever to make these, but I knew I would keep them for a long time. Anyway, they go with those. The little kit that I got off of Amazon a long time ago. I thought they'd just be able to take the parts and attach them to the cards. I love these little things because they remind me of all of the effort and love that I put in from very early on. And then these, whenever I find really um, nice cards that I really, really, really like. These came from Target and I just um, laminated them and we use these in all different kinds of ways. So I'm not really ready to leave these just yet, but it's a way that um, I keep our things in good condition. And I try to be really thoughtful about the things that I purchased and the different ways that we can use them so that we can use them for a long period of time. And then I found these, you guys. So I made these in like 2014, I think. Um, I don't know where Savannah's is. I don't, well, wait a minute. Was Savannah born? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but she was really little. Um, but these were their passports to learning. And then I put them on lanyards and they have their confessions on the back they would do every morning. 
So I put God first in my life. I can do all things through Christ. God loves me no matter what. I will not live in fear. It is hard to hurt my feelings. I love people, enjoy helping them. I do not worry. I trust God completely. I am content and full of joy. God meets all of my needs abundantly. I look for peace with God, myself, and others. I live for today and enjoy each moment. I am disciplined and self-controlled. And at the bottom here, the name of our school, which is Faith and Love Adventure Academy, and um, our main scripture that we are built upon, which is Galatians, what matters most is faith expressed through love. The faith and love life. Memories. <laughs> and then also, y'all, I was laminating all the things back then. But these were alphabet posters that I found. And I laminated these. And I put them all along the top of um, the schoolroom. I tried to find really cute ones. And then I put... And then I put them all up. So I'd like to be able to send them to someone else because they're in such good condition. I worked so hard on them. And then I also had shape posters in the background that we no longer need. Let's see. Okay. I think these I'll actually end up keeping. Um, I like to do things that are beyond their quote unquote grade level. Um, because then I can keep them for long periods of time and just kind of have them build upon their knowledge. Yeah, we use these with some other prompts that I had. I can't think of where they came from because it was so long ago. Over here, one year I taught summer camp at our church and we had a science fair. So um, I made these and kept them. I held on to them so that we could have a science fair again in our homeschool. So this is just a banner. And then I made like little laboratory passes. It was really cute. So I plan on using these again. I know this is definitely on one of the videos on our channel. Um, these were our little earth cards. I used these in a similar way, matching and then also um, for story prompts and things like that, but this was when we did our very first space unit and Then I also had uh, these little math cards that I want to send them along as well because they're in such good condition I'm Trying to work through this stuff just kind of popping um, supplies into containers along the way highlighters we normally keep them in our pencil boxes, but um, we have quite a bit and I'm going to be using them in a very fun way um, so I want to make sure that they're nice and yeah. try my best to put things away as I go along. The necessary Amazon Prime packages. Okay. okay. I think I'm getting somewhere, but I'm tired. You have been warned that, um, my smiles are few right now. I did eat something. I did drink something and I do think that I'm getting somewhere. Um, I have a few more of these baskets to fill for today. I got a little thrown off because the food times did not arrive as they were supposed to. So they should have been here already and I would have had, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's not here yet, so I had to switch up my plan a little. Taking a small break to open up the packages that just arrived, so I will show you what's inside of them. The first one being, so our chalk wall is making a comeback. Uh, this is actually the, this is the same paint that I used the first time around on this chalk wall, except for I used the basic gray color. This time around, I am using the Rust-Oleum clear finish. Um, this is going to allow me to paint on top of that color and keep the color, but make it still a chalkboard. So I'm excited about that and actually this looks very much so like the color that I have. So hopefully Brian will get around to getting this up on the wall maybe today or tomorrow so that we can have our chalk wall back. So I'm very excited about that. They did not have this in the stores so I had to order it online. I only used this size, just one can for the chalk wall last time. People ask all the time, um, what I use for the chalk wall. First of all, I must say that I just expected it to be messy <laughs> overall. 
So I didn't have any majorly high expectations other than I just wanted it to work. So I used this very same brand, but in the gray color last time, and I'm using the clear finish this time so that I can keep the color on this wall. And as far as what I use on the chalk wall, I've mentioned this a couple times before, but basically we just use any brand of chalk, mostly the Ikea brand of chalk is what we've used and have been just fine with. And then I also have chalk pastels. Um, when I want to put color on the wall. It is, it is a little trickier, it is a little messier, and it does hold on to the wall a lot longer, so it's harder to get off, but I still use it. And then I also use chalk markers. I've used a couple brands of the chalk marker, and um, I don't really use it on the wall though because it is quite a pain to get off, especially if you're gonna leave it on for quite some time. So I mostly use the chalk markers for like my window spaces and um, those clear message boards that I have around the house. So that's mainly what I use those for, but that's just my basic rundown of what I use on the chalk wall, and I'm excited to have it back finally. It is gonna be a little different. I don't know how much color I'm gonna get to use on the wall because it is still blue, but we're just gonna run with it. Um, this is not quite the color that I wanted on the wall. I wanted something that was a bluer tone, but more towards the gray end, but this is what I got for now, and I am not gonna fuss over it. It's gonna be just fine and it's gonna work out just fine. So <laughs> I probably will be using mostly white chalk, not that much color. Who am I kidding? I might use color if I want to. So there's that. <laughs> Post-its, which are quite expensive. I feel like post-its shouldn't be as expensive as they are, but we're gonna go with them for now. And then I got Highlighters. I am trying out this Arteza brand of post-it sticky notes. So we'll see how that goes. These are reusable storage bags, lunch bags. Got three of the same. I wanted to do like fun, make fun tassels to hang off the side of each bag um, so that it can correspond to each child. My, these are nice and simple. They should fit in my refrigerator nice and easy. I just think it's a really good habit for them to pack their lunches and it gives me something extra to be able to tuck in little like notes and messages. So I've got three of those and that's it. I got these um, quite a long time ago and we like them. They have held fast. So my only dislike is that I have blue and I have green, but I don't have pink. <laughs> I have red instead, but I guess that'll do because those are, you know, my kids are color coded, but um, they fit nicely in here. So that's good enough just um, enough to be able to put this here something on the side and then something here nice and simple basic broody so basically I'm getting closer and closer to being done which is good I am going to keep working a little bit longer and show you everything that I get accomplished in the next half an hour but I want to try to focus and I'm not going to be able to do that if I keep trying to also talk to you guys what I learned today is that your friend just might not be a minimalist <laughs> And that's okay, because our goal here <laughs> is to learn all the things about yourself because life is so very full of lessons. So our goal is to live and to learn. <laughs> we gotta work our way through this. So, it's a whole no makeup, poofy hair kind of situation. Because we just had a tornado watch. It is really hot and sticky. It rained all morning. So there's absolutely gonna be nothing fancy about this because there's some days when you just gotta pull yourself together and get stuff done. And that is today. Our couches are not here just yet, which kind of stinks. But in the meantime, I've just been kind of doing what I can do just a little bit out of order. 
but um, we decided to go ahead and I have these um, cork boards. So I've had these cork boards since the beginning of our homeschool life and I'm really proud of myself at the way that I've just been just always endeavoring to use what we have and just kind of reinvent it um, each time and I love having these things kind of um, still in our spaces. It just reminds me of our growth and how far we've come and I just really like it. So um, I decided to use these and while I did not love, it was just a regular like um, yellowish kind of color for the cork board and I just painted over it. I just, I just gave it um, a little bit of a white painting uh, which made it look a little bit whitewashed which I like. I like it like that. And then this one is just the whiteboard here. So um, I thought this would give us a lot of space to be able to display like artwork or any things that we're currently working on, any pictures that they want to put up there. And we can just kind of rotate the board every month based on what we're doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hang these three side by side on this wall right um, above the futon or the sofa that will go in this space. Another thing you may have not noticed in the past, but we have this round table that we got as a gift from my uncle early on in our homeschool life. And we got it from Ikea and I really enjoy it. And um, what I do not like is that over time, um, this has kind of happened and they are all over the table and they are yucky. But I love the table and we're gonna keep it. So I found this like wood, white wood grain type of vinyl covering I guess is what you might call it and um, I think this is going to be a nice little fit I think it just sticks right on top of the surface and then I'll just cut around the edges Brian's pick. Our little coffee table is finally here. I'm going to put that together now and then we're just waiting for our bookshelf. It's actually the perfect little size so I'm excited to see what it looks like in the room. Are you excited to be in second grade? Look who helped me. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Table is all set and it's super cute. You can use it together or they can separate them. I wanted it to be very functional and very low profile so that they can separate them and work. Would have been really cool if there was a third one, but the two is really cute. Next up, the final room tour. Don't forget to subscribe.